fast with living greens and 20 minutes on the clock and today we have two really funny guests mike lynch how are you good how are you excellent Brandon? and brian aylworth hi brian welcome Thanks for having us. yeah so you guys um you're stand-up comedians you're sketch comedians so that's a fasc <laughs> fascinating career yeah hi it's different for sure i mean uh no good at it, but you but can, know, but can you cook? Do you cook at home? Yeah, I cook. Yes, craft dinner, chicken nuggets. You name it. <laughs> I know that you, you eat a lot it, of I Vienna can't sausages. What? I see that you eat a lot of Vienna sausages. What do you mean? Are you creep me on Facebook? <laughs> a little bit. How about yes, yourself, I Brian? Eat you cook. Uh, well, you lived in in Asia for a lot of years. I have. Yeah. Every now and again, I cook and disappoint my wife, and uh, we'll see what happens here today. Do you think you're going to beat Mike? Um, well, either way, I'm going to beat him up, so <laughs> we're all good. There you go. Either way, he's losing here today. Well, we have two You're fantastic uh, yeah, guests, right. and when we come back, we're going up the basket of, of ingredients. Stay tuned to Scoff Off. <gasps> sure, he disappoints whoever's around that kitchen when he cooks. Oh, he can't cook. He can't cook. And, uh, but you try. It's all about the effort. They appreciate the effort. Welcome back to Scoff Off. Okay, guys, before we open our basket, there are pots and pans over there for you to use. Okay. If you don't see something, ask me. I can probably find it for you. And then right here you have a bunch of extra groceries, um, dry goods and stuff. And in the fridge is a bunch of other protein and things that you can mm. add to your basket. So we can take home what we don't use, right, <laughs> for right. our groceries? <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Okay, so uh, you can bag. also do your pots and pans when you're done, too. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so before we open the basket, the rules are there's 30 points. So there's 10 points for taste. 10 points for presentation, mm -hmm. and 10 points for use of your basket ingredients. You need to use all the basket ingredients to get full points for them. Um, and uh, you may use anything else, so let's uh, open the basket. Put the lemons on your... Open your basket. <laughs> Don't be jealous, Michael. <laughs> this is the on Whatever. Day. You know, the big you know reveal. Is my oh. fruit. So, so we have pork rinds. We have pork rinds. All right, we got Brussels some sprouts. mini cabbage. <laughs> Someone's getting sick today. Rhubarb. Oh. Rhubarb. <laughs> Got Fresh some munchies. Oh, we, is this blood puddings? And Halliday's blood puddings. Oh, you didn't. Ah, uh, blood pudding. All right, I can do this. And then once anything else comes in the mix, I don't know why we're done. First thought, Brussels sprouts, disgusting. Do not like Brussels sprouts. They're like tiny lettuces that people just hate. I don't like them at all. Okay, so you guys? Oh, and rhubarb. Fresh rhubarb. <laughs> Fresh, fresh rhubarb. From my sister's garden. <laughs> she don't know what to do with that. I thought they were hot so, rods. <laughs> okay, gather your thoughts because we're ready garbage. to scoff off. Scoff what? Off. Already? Are you kidding me? Scoff what? off, Michael. There we go. Scoff yeah. off, yeah. Michael. All right, this okay, one got guys. a nice density. Start a good ones, I heard. Brian, you can flick your basket out of and, your way. And uh, any amount of pans is okay, right? Any amount of pans, like I said, you have to do the dishes. Oh, so don't right. forget your pepper, my buddy. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, get Perfect. ready to scarf off, man. So, Brian, I know you've I been like in comedy that. for 12 or 13 years now. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Were you a job. teacher? Is that what took you to Asia? I was, yes. Oh, I was a kindergarten South teacher Korea. in South Korea, yeah. Okay. I yep. was wondering what you're doing over there, because when I read everything Me about too. you, I can see you were doing comedy a lot, but I didn't yeah, see yeah. anything talk about teaching. Asia is officially not known for being well-educated. <laughs> ever since. I didn't know what I was doing over there. So, I understand you got into comedy on, on a bet. Oh, look what I found! Oh. <laughs> Get out of it, Brian. Oh, beverage mic. <laughs> Funny, it's 12 it's, it's in the uh, afternoon. Never you mind. <laughs> never you mind. So, can Brian, I, I'm I asking you about your uh, your bet. Yeah. I know that I read that you Wait, uh, oh, started I'm comedy from a bet. Yeah. But I don't know what the bet was about. What was the bet about? The bet was uh, I had an ex-girlfriend who used to smoke, and uh, I was always wanted to do comedy. And we made a bet if she quit smoking for a month, I'd have to do comedy. Okay. So she quit. I went up there and been doing it ever since. Well, there you go. Wow. Yeah. But you must have had a funny boat. You must. There you go, Michael. I'll be a good friend. <laughs> he, she just wanted that house. <laughs> and yourself, Mike? How did you get involved in, in comedy? Uh, it's literally the. You well, were always I, a class clown. There, I can tell. There is this. Uh, I was just a nuisance, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I knew this guy, my buddy um, in high school used to do stand-up and used to get me out of his shows. And some old guy uh, named George. What, what do you have? That's for you, that's for you. I want to use blood puddings at Vienna sausages. That's just like, oh, my God. That's perfect. It'll melt right in. It'll be perfect. Just like That's the welfare of blood pudding. Are you allowed to say welfare? <laughs> First thing I grab was beer and Vienna sausages. Yeah, well, beer because I like beer and Vienna sausages because I was... Uh, Thinking about messes up, messing up Mike's meal pretty quickly. Yeah, he took 
took out the beer and Vienna sausages, and uh, oh, that's when you know a party's about to happen. So My you're from you're from town proper. Yeah, I'm right? from St. John's. The yeah. higher levels area, right? The what? The Rabbit you know, Town. Yeah, that area. Yeah. Well, I'm from Rabbit Town. I was born on Good Retreat. Were you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't well, know we had that in common. <laughs> and, and of course, uh, <laughs> Brian, up, you're, uh, you're also a townie, but from yeah. Mount Pearl, of course. From the Pearl, yeah. <laughs> so actually, I feel bad for putting that pepper in your pan now. I, I, I actually feel bad. <laughs> never mind, but never mind, Michaels. He was probably going to add pepper anyway. Yes, whatever. Chances actually, are. I think that gives it a nice. Uh, um, that's build, building the base. It's like marinade, mm. I guess. I Pickle juice. I don't know my <laughs> Have you? God do you damn. eat blood puddings? Have you ever had blood puddings? Um, oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, Dad uh, makes them all the time. Dad's proper bayman. And uh, like, guess what we got for... I used to hate them as a kid. Guess what we got now? Uh, <laughs> blood puddings for breakfast. I'm like, I'll take a uh, Rice Krispies, please. I don't want no part of this blood pudding. I like the white puddings better. Uh, yeah, because they don't, don't have blood in them. Yeah, because they don't have blood in it. It <laughs> kind of freaks me out. They're just seasoned breadcrumbs. And then do you have to use all the ingredients? Like every last Not bit. every single morsel that I get but you, every, but you have to use every ingredient. bit of every... Exactly. And, I don't and know if Brussels sprouts are good cut up like that. They're, they're not good. like a lettuce, are they? You just kind of put them in. Well, people use them in coleslaw and stuff, so it's... Uh, yeah, a, a oh, brine, why don't you put your basket down in the sink out of your way? Yeah. There you go. I don't more. even know what to do with oh, rhubarb. Yeah. Uncle Ooh. Angus would come in the house with rhubarb. Yeah. Just in the house and be like, here you go, and just throw rhubarb in the sink, and that was it. I never knew what happened to it. You never knew what happened with <laughs> rhubarb. No. Well, you know, people make rhubarb jam, and they make... Well, I know what, yeah. I knew sink. what happened to it, but I never, I never watched the process. <laughs> well, they be, you know, I mean, what's, what's the ingredients in jam? Rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Listen, fruit and belly. sugar, right? So, um, it, uh, like, uh, you guys are doing your... Um, your best kind uh, comedy tour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. you've got uh, Colin Holler with you as well. Who? <laughs> <laughs> we're not Sorry, Colin. Here, oh, did right? you know? Oh, yeah. He gets enough hype. Yeah. No, but yeah, Colin Holler, he's a, he's a really funny guy. We are, re we're actually really good friends. And he's a very nice guy. Uh, well, Colin Hollett, uh, one of our buddies, best kind comedy tour, Colin Hollett, the Spazzy Bayman. Uh, it's Colin, man. How can you not make fun of Colin? We love him, but, uh, you know, that's a, that's a man with a lot of energy. So no, he's awesome. He's deadly. I was going to ask you what some of your inspirations are for some of your characters, um, but it sounds like your dad and dad, Colin. Dad, yeah. Dad and, uh, dad and Nan, Pop, you know, they right. just going around the bay as a youngster and just uh, being around. And plus, I grew up on Mirror Mean Road, went to, you know, Brother Ice and, and Holy Heart. Right. So, you know, you got your share of skeets there. Like, show, <laughs> are you allowed to diss schools like that? Are you allowed to say skeets? Okay. Are you allowed? I was like, the, the school is so skeety that uh, <laughs> teachers used to flick snowballs at cars. <laughs> <laughs> the skeet. teachers. We you know, had all my sisters went to her. Oh, really? Yeah, I grew up in Torbay after we left town. We, I moved oh, to Torbay, geez. and I, I went to school in Torbay, but all my sisters went to her. They're not skeets. Really? No, they're not. I'd like a second opinion. <laughs> it was only when they let the fellas in the school that they came ski club. Oh, um, okay, well that's good. Yeah. So, so where did you go to school? Gets out. That's good. I went to uh, high school in o in Mount Pearl O'Donnell High School. In O'Donnell High, right? Yeah. Go Patriots! <laughs> <laughs> a Newfoundland chef needs a catchphrase. Yeah. Dare I? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I go? Dare I? Dare I? He's pulling a little uh, emerald. <laughs> oh, I got one law. Welcome. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to Dare La. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I almost so, give it to her. So, so Brian, mm. uh, you started uh, stand up soul. What? What? Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, I um, I started stand up on a bet in Seoul, South Korea. Yeah. And uh, uh, I ended up coming back to Canada, getting married, moving back, and I thought there must be some people like me. So I started up an open mic at the Canadian Bar over there, Rocky Mountain Tavern. And sure enough, um, you know, ten or twelve people came out to get up on stage. We had 60, 70 people in the crowd, and that's how stand up soul started. Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of Canadians in, in uh, South Korea. Yeah, there's a lot of Canadians. Yeah, thousands. I was thinking, uh, did you have to learn Korean? <laughs> no, I know a decent amount of Korean. Chuck them haseo, Brenda. Chuck them haseo. Thank you, Pio, Brenda. Thank you, Pio. Are you hungry? I think you just swore. No, that means, are you hungry? Thank you, Pio. How much Thai do you know, Brian, where I you was. live now in Thailand? I was until I started to see no, how this is coming together. Zero. Chuck them. <laughs> How and you moved to Alberta like every other Newfoundlander. What, what's up with oh, that? All right, of course you have to go. To yeah, the you're just the same, Mike. After. You're I just the same. I went to Asia. That's so right. I went to Alberta. Went are, you, to are you still living there? Yes, I still live in there yeah. now. I come home 
pretty regularly to do shows. Right. And uh, I used to, uh, I used to actually so was comedy teach the less fortunate myself, actually. Uh, <laughs> the less fortunate? Pretty much less fortunate, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, next question. <laughs> so, like, the why Alberta? Is it a funnier place? Like, I can't imagine that it is. Al Alberta, there's um, just more comedy going on, and uh, I could go there and... More than Toronto? Uh, well, no, but it's really hard to cook and answer questions, you know? Like, <laughs> this is hard. Like, just let me cook. Stop talking. Like, it's not... Yeah, it's your show, but it's not your kitchen. Well, yeah, it's your kitchen, but... But just stop talking, Brenda. A lot of people don't notice about Mike. Like he, he's um, he's slow. Mike's slow, so he doesn't. He, he can't multitask, right? So oh, right. You can use other ingredients. So no. The <laughs> so the internet has been your friend because people are watching both of you, your videos and your sketch comedy oh, that you do, and of course this. the pothole thing you did outside the village mall. How many hits did you get on that? Well, that's the dumbest thing ever done, Brenda. Yeah. I was with my brother. And he told me, he goes, you got to see this, this pothole, this sinkhole by the village. Because it's a, it's a crater. And we drove by, and, and I was like, that's insane. I go, let me get in and see what happens. And we got in it, and he took a video of me, and uh, his girlfriend was with him at the time, now his oh, wife. Good. Then we, we, we thought, well, we were going to get in trouble for this, right? We had to go over to Barry. We ran back in the car, looked at the video, and uh, my yeah. brother's girlfriend laughed so hard, we went back and took a second take, and then that was it. I knew someone at CBC sent it in next day, all over the place. All over the place. It's Dumbest thing wow. I did. Yeah. All, all I did was scream pothole 7,000 times. <laughs> but got, you got 10 minutes left, guys. But that got yeah. such amazing pickup. And of course, this is the power of the internet, right? Yeah, it's and unreal. And social media. And of course, uh, you're, I love your sketch, your rapping stuff that you do um, when you're doing like the uh, Newfoundland raps. <laughs> the folk the battles, yeah. To the Newfoundland songs. Mm -hmm. That is priceless. It Thank really you. is a, a Brian can call. We have a laugh doing that. No, we, have, we have a laugh doing that. There'll be another one coming out soon. Another folk battle coming soon. So you guys could do a show at Arati's, you know, with with him playing the accordion. You're doing all the folk music that we regularly feature at Arati's. Actually, Brenda was uh, one of the things that really helped us was we did shows at Yellow Belly two years ago. We wanted to do one show. We did a second show. We did a third show. We ended up doing four shows at Yellow Belly. Uh, about 200 bodies, I think, a show, and that was a moment where we realized, okay, you know, we're catching on here now, and this best kind of thing is a thing, and it was awesome. Well, Brendan puts us on the spot, right? So it got the boys on the show now. I want them to do a show at my, my lovely venue. It's like, boys aren't going to say no in front of camera. She totally took advantage of us. So when did you start playing the accordion? <laughs> because you played the accordion very before. well. Um, you, really, you saw me play the accordion? Look up with your feet. Oh. <laughs> no, you were driving your feet. Oh, right, yeah. You played the accordion. You did that your show. Oh, yeah, too. I love playing the accordion, actually. Uh, yeah. I cheers, was, Michael. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> and uh, Pop, Pop uh, my Pop Burke uh, from Long Harbor, shout out. Um, Tommy Burke, um, he always played, uh, you know, the accordion growing up. And I always kind of wanted to play, but he never, he never let me play his. Because right. he's, like, overprotective about everything he got. But he'd be like, go straight in the middle. Don't be at it. So I went and bought my own, <laughs> and then. Um, well, you, you did. Did you take lessons? And now he'll let me play him his accordion while I got my own. Right. Um, yeah, I took uh, I took a little bit of lessons off um, a fella named what's his name Jerry Madden. Yeah. Good fella. And. Uh, <laughs> you been calling, boy? <laughs> you been going, boy? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> Shave what? rhubarb, shave rhubarb. What? You shave rhubarb. It's not, yes, a, it's not a truffle, you know. <laughs> Stop heckling, Brenda. <laughs> Definitely not perform at O'Reilly's now. <laughs> We're thinking about it, but not now. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Maybe if I go saw it on. Would you like a bit? Oh, jeez, okay. that's not working out like a... Here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it back in the ground. If you're going to use it, use the right tool. Throw it back in the ground. It's useless. <laughs> So that'd be nice. Useless. Some people who, who wants that tick grass? Of truffle who likes tick grass? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I'll have the last laugh now soon. She obviously, Brenda obviously doesn't have access to quality rhubarb. I don't know if she's getting her rhubarb from the mainland, but where I come from, rhubarb is graded and it's a delicacy. And I did all the right things. Brenda needs to learn how to shop for rhubarb. So your sketch together that you do with. Uh, 
with with fodder. Is that how you say it? Fodder. <laughs> fodder. Now, Brenda, boy, get it right. <laughs> That's pretty funny fodder. too. And so, how, how did you come up with that? I mean, who's who? Who are you making fun of here? Uh, you know, I'm still not sure. It's a little bit of my dad, but my dad was never saucy like that. But it's like my, if my dad was saucy, and then I just add on what I see from other older fellows that I made. Ginger's when I'm a good one too. Uh, right, and you okay. had the uh, I, the outfit is very becoming. What's this? Oh, you like it? <laughs> oh, today's outfit is fantastic. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm talking it. about the the father's outfit. Oh, father, yeah. What's well, this? You know, you know, father. He was in the house. He's in his underwear all the time. So do, when he's who, outside, he puts on a hat. Who has been your comedic uh, inspiration over the years? Like, who, who do you who do you watch yourself? Who was your who do you honestly growing up? It was Calco, absolutely. Like right. there was no stand up growing up, right? New Flame was all sketch, so Calco for sure. Um, Mary Walsh, Kathy Jones, can't get enough of them still. And um, yeah, Calco for sure. We used to dress up in my friend's uh, mother's clothes when she wasn't around. Right. And just act a fool. We did all that growing up, but we just thought it was something to be at. We didn't think it was you know it could be a job. Some people go to a movie or go to the mall, and you yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, who needs to go to the mall? <laughs> right. Start our own show. I never thought of putting on someone else's clothes and doing foolishness. Imagine. Well, yeah, imagine. What? <laughs> Want to be in a skit, Brendan? <laughs> I would love to be in a skit. Oh, well, here we go. You yeah. got any rap skills? I no rap skills. My friend was rap battle. Ooh, Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one with Mark Manning though. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, and and. Um, that, that's my favorite because Brian wasn't in that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is a it's lot like, of fun, though. You, so, you stole me a bit, Mike. Oh, oh, oh actually, I probably made it that's good. Okay. That's, no, okay. that's okay. That's only going to deglaze your no, pan. Oh, wow. That's a lot of beer, bro. Just a beer, bro. Uh, oh, Brenda got to eat this. <laughs> I think I helped Mike putting the Vian sausages in the beer and his food. I think kind of gave it a caramelization that, uh, that Brenda appreciated. It's easier to peel a ginger with a spoon than a knife. Well, who brought her here? <laughs> You know. it's ginger and blood pudding. I can't wait to try that. Ah, <laughs> uh, pork rinds. Mm. So ta taste one of those. See what they're like. Right? <laughs> Dehydrated pork fat. Right? Tastes like a hard fart is what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. You're making it sound Be so grateful delicious. now. No, I'm You're <laughs> hungry. You're I'm grateful. I appreciate it. You leave what's put in front of you. <laughs> and that's it. So have you guys ever recorded... Rabbit Tang, and that's it. Go to bed. <laughs> have you ever recorded an album? A comedy album? Uh, Brian has tried several times. No, I, I'm, uh, I'm actually recording one in uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia in November. Right? Yeah, I have a, an album, all Asian Asia material, one hour of Asian material. I've been living in Asia for 10 years. So my first comedy album I'm filming in November. Brian, I don't know if Pretty you realize excited. this, but you average 200 shows a year. Based on the amount of shows that About you've that. done in your career. Yeah. That is hard. Yeah, how it is you, hard. I'm how do you keep the comedy fresh? I mean, yeah, back when I did it, it you know, it was, I don't know, Brenda. I don't know. It's, it's, um, I'm, I'm starting to find some balance. In the beginning, you kind of got to do it all the time because if you don't, you don't have it. It's like you got to practice. But now I'm trying to find a little more balance. But uh, well, that's it. That's the problem. It's, you, know, you never, you know, you think you'd be taken away tomorrow, right? right? And you're like, I might not be funny. <laughs> I might not be funny next year. So let's live it up. <laughs> so so um, we might be begging you to come on this show next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dare la! I'll start my own show. Dare la! <laughs> With Brian Elwood. <laughs> it's dare la! You got five minutes dare left, guys. Five, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Five okay. minutes is a lot of time. But you got to have it played as well, but don't play too early. Though. Okay. Um, so, so Mike, um, this best, know, best, best time comedy out. tour. What's next for, for, Mike, for Mike Lynch? Um, next, for, uh, next for Mike Lynch. You're about, you're, how long is this tour going on for? For the whole year? Um, until October 27th. So we make mm -hmm. our way right across yeah. the country. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I talk like I know I'm doing. So, yeah, we make ourselves our way right across the country and uh, right all the way to Vancouver. So, after that is my uh, the, uh, end of January, beginning of February is my sketch and stand up tour with Lisa Baker. Okay. Um, so, I do like Labrador and St. John's and the Holy Heart Theater. So oh, cool. And uh, your show at Holy Heart was the fastest selling out show in. About the history of yeah. shows at Holy Heart. Yeah, what was that again? 20 Brian? minutes. Good job, right? Michaels. 20 minutes. How fast was that, Brian? 20 minutes. Oh, I know. They, people love Cyril. <laughs> they love him. They come for me. <laughs> they love Cyril. They come for me. Cyril and Terry, another one he does. Uh, well, Ms. with the big things. Cecil Bryan is really funny. And uh, your characters are priceless. I have to say they're really funny. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're going to win. I'm not so sure about that, bitch. Oh, come on. <laughs> Come on, girl. 
<laughs> oh, I got an idea. <laughs> Come on, girl. Do we have any... So, Brian, are you still living? Honey, garlic. Uh, no, I'm actually living in Bangkok, Thailand now. Okay. Yeah, my wife, she's an international school teacher there. So right. when I'm not on tour, I'm back in Thailand Ooh. with her. I'm surprised you didn't peel some It's no Edmonton, Mike. Ingredients. It's no Edmonton, I must say. <laughs> Very no similar, hey? Yeah. Very similar. Uh, the weather, particularly. Oh, your the weather's honey low. garlic? Brenda? Uh, honey is right here in front of you. I don't have any honey garlic. Maybe honey will do. Right honey. here, Mike. On the shelf, in the middle. In little, the middle? Little oh, right here. Do yeah. I want honey on this? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you man. You know what? We're gonna throw that in. That might be a dare la. Might be Brian a Elwood. God. Dare la. Brian, I'm not sure where to thank you now. Or <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm considering Brenda's feelings right now. Oh yeah. So uh, long that last, no? Some honey. Oh. You might have to open the inside of it. You got two minutes left, guys. Two minutes. <clears throat> I know time goes fast when you're All having right. fun, hey? Time goes fast and Brenda's kitchen. <laughs> now, Brenda, you invite me over when the camera's around, but if I comes over for now for a scarf at, you know, say, sometime randomly I'm in the area, are you going to let me in? I for sure will let you in. No. <laughs> you heard it here on the cameras. <laughs> you can come after what your show. What are we show. having tomorrow? You can come after your show. <laughs> All right. And, and how, how's your show at the convention center, Sully? Um, That's a big venue. We don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's selling well. It's selling well. It's selling well. Of course well. it is. Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. It's awesome. Oh my God, Brenda. What? I'm looking forward to it. Here, let me show Thank you a trick. I'll help you out. Oh my God. That's man. cheating. That's minus two. No, it's not. Minus two. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't have some his teeth, I don't know how you would have opened it. Do you not know how you've seen Green Thumb? You would have done some of that. This has quite the collection of uh, stuff. Oh! oh. oh. The I old David throw. Letterman. I, was, I grew up, I'm a huge fan of David Letterman. So every time he had a cooking um, cooking segment on his show, he would always, you know, chug the cooking one or do something foolish. So that's where that came from, for sure. Disgusting. You know? Have some class in Brenda's kitchen. You know, that's a garnish. It's a marinade for blood puddings. You know that. You can't just chug blood pudding marinade. So have you, if, if anybody... You know, your friends or anybody ever tried like to be on Saturday Night Live or anything like that? Or, um, I mean, Brian tries a lot of things and <laughs> doesn't succeed, but you gotta get yours on a plate, Mike. That's true. No, that's not Saturday Night Live. Um, I'm kidding, Brian. Brian, I mean, yeah, we know lots of comics, a lot of Canadian comics down in LA and places like that trying to give it a go, and not easy. No, it's not easy. Wow. It's not easy. I gotta say, I think comedy must be, like, as much as live performance is hard, comedy's Look gotta be all. the hardest thing Delicious. of live performance. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious. There you mm -hmm. go. And Wicked. that is the perfect, the perfect blood pudding, stir fry. <laughs> there, la! Enjoy. Well, guys, the time is off. <laughs> perfect. Look at that. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That was a lot of fun. Uh, when we come back, we'll try the dishes and see who wins. Stay tuned to Scoff Off. And welcome back to Bryn's Kitchen. Here we have made a lovely uh, blood pudding stir fry. And that's, I don't know what this is, but welcome back. That's a cross-sticked rhubarb salad from Gasker St. Mary's Bay. <laughs> and if you can't eat raw rhubarb, you're not a real Newfoundlander. Dear law! <laughs> Welcome back to Scoff Off, guys. That was a lot of fun. Oh, my Lord. I have to say, I gave you a very challenging basket. You did? I did, didn't I? No, sir. Uh, I thought I might bring out some extra comedy. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. It's dance, like, it's monkeys like, dance. That's so, like a heckler. Like, I was helping, I was helping the show. <laughs> Heckling, so you know? I'm going to try it now. That's okay. the only thing. <laughs> okay, so um, here we go. <laughs> everything on, a bit of everything. I do like blood pudding, so that's, that's mm, not so bad. It smells horrible. <laughs> With the with the mushroom, uh, do you put uh, mm -hmm. mushroom on it too? I'm sure a flavor is there. Let her try to choke <laughs> her way through it first, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you enjoying it. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad? No. There you go. Well, yeah, it's not that bad at all. Brenda's obviously playing hard to please, but uh, it's great. It was great. I, I never tasted it. I don't want to taste it, but it was good. May I hey. recommend you starting with the rhubarb crunch? <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't even... So, Brian, 
I don't it know takes three bites to try. Not doing anything with your ingredients, using your ingredients. Well, I guess you don't know about the cross stick rhubarb <laughs> salad. <laughs> Gasco St. Mary's. But Bay. you did, you did get into making tomato uh, in your sauce and stuff, <sighs> which is good. Thanks. <laughs> like, look at this. It's <clears throat> like this guy. Things cooking. <laughs> oh, youngster, manners, right? No manners. That's called char. So that's not so bad. Is that mine or? That's that's yours. Yeah. We'll take mine. It don't matter, Brenda. It don't matter anymore. <laughs> oh, I got Nathan for you guys. Yeah, did many. <laughs> Thank you very much for participating. Oh, look at this. Michael. Oh, deadly. Right. Like deadly. Look at that, old, Mom. Return to those ones for don't you. Today's winner is Mike Lynch. Yes. Right. She tasted Mike, said that's not that bad, and he won. So, I just don't think she had an appreciation for the cross stick rhubarb salad. That's. Old recipe from Gasco St. Mary's Bay. And if you can't eat crunchy rhubarb, then you're not Newfoundlander. Oh! That's it for this oh! episode. We'll see you again. Oh! <laughs> Brian, man. <laughs> Mimi flinch on camera. Cheers. 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 <laughs> well, congratulations, Michael, on your big win. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. I've been training hard and paid off. You've, uh, You've inspired me to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird like that. I will right, we'll try again. Okay. Focused on quality and convenience, there isn't much you won't find at Marie's Mini Mart. Homestyle bread, sandwiches, plus a variety of artisan breads and delicious single-serve desserts available exclusively at our Frecker Drive location. Marie's Mini Mart, with 25 locations wherever you go, there we are. Yellow Belly food means fresh food. We source our ingredients locally and prepare them from scratch. Our meat is never frozen. Food's so delicious, we've got Good Times Corner. Yellow Belly Brewery, a proud sponsor of One Chef, One Critic. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. The following program is brought to you by Rogers Anyplace TV. Enjoy exclusive content for free. Visit RogersAnyplaceTV.com. We got a mission. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. Johnny just forgot. Whoa. We were born in Canada. We spoke English. On the streets, we weren't welcome. But on the field,